Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Star Wars fans and welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. I uh, didn't do an episode last week just because I had some other content already planned to go out. Um, so I didn't double up on videos last week. Um, the week before I did Jedi Luke, so if you missed that go and check it out. And I had a comment from a uh, channel member, Jedi Master Jeff, great guy. Um, he asked if I had the speeder bike and scout trooper whether I could do a review on that, and that is one that I don't have. So I thought we'd meet in the middle and and do Luke on the speed bike because this is one I do have, and uh, yeah, I really like it a lot. This is you know obviously it's uh, you know a bit dated now, but uh, back when I was a kid, I never had it. So um, I would have absolutely loved to have had this when I was a kid. So private now when I'm a big kid. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll take a look at the speeder bike. Um, some of the weathering and stuff on it's pretty cool for the time. Like, you know, we're talking 90, what does it say? Uh, 95. I had actually drilled a hole, so I had it on a little plastic stand. Um, but I think I ended up using that for something else. And uh, I'm pretty sure it will sort of pop off and battle damage and stuff like that, but there we go, it's just that. So that comes off. Yeah, I haven't actually explored this one all that much. So we're gonna, you know, bought it and pretty much had it on the shelf. So yeah, I can't, can't work out what all the features are. <laughs> so, oh, I feel like I'm old now. I can't work out how everything works. Yeah, it looks cool. I like the sort of metallic bit on the back there. Actually, feels like it might be actually metal. That's cool if it is. So there is like a little pouch thing on the back there, but yeah, like I said, I can't work out what it does, whether it was a um, play feature. I guess I'll never know. Yeah, this thing's probably been played with to death so over the years so we'll look at Luke I do have his lightsaber in an accessories uh, bin but I was watching um, a video from YouTuber Spectre Creative does a lot of stuff with uh, the toy industry and and stuff really insightful stuff and he was recently talking about you know Jedi Luke and uh, the fact that it took so long to get this regular the person who had this before me has obviously tried to glue the poncho on at some stage. But yeah, because the Kenner days, they did the Jedi Luke, but it was like Jabba's Palace Luke. Um, with the with the robes, sort of outer robes. And um, then they finally did Endor Luke in The Last 17, and he didn't have the removable helmet like Leia did. So yeah, you couldn't have, you know, the final dual version of Luke unless you did some miraculous head swapping back in the Kenner days. So when Power of the Force came out, they pretty much did the same thing. They put out a Jedi Luke, which I did on my last Power of the Force Friday video. Um, and he had his tunic from Jabba's Palace. And now we've got, you know, something pretty close here. And uh, without taking this off, which, you know, I could, but yeah, whoever had whoever had this figure before me, because I bought it secondhand, had it glued it on. So um, yeah, this was as close as you could get. But still, no removable helmet. So it wasn't until quite a lot later. Oh, it was Power of the Force, because they did a couple of cinema scenes and you were able to finally get it then. But um I still I still like this one. You know, Endor Luke's probably not my favourite iteration of Luke. I'd actually now that I'm looking at it, I'd actually like to get a new one that I can take the poncho off and not have all that damage underneath. You know, I'd never even paid attention. I pretty much just bought him. I can't remember when. Probably at a toy fair or something. And uh, I already had the speeder bike. So I pretty much just whacked him on the speeder bike and put him on the shelf. So it was, yeah, a good reason to get this figure down, actually. So now that I've sort of sat and had a good look at it, you know, this would, this would have been awesome as a kid, you know. Like when I was growing up in the 90s, this would have been pretty damn awesome. It sits on there well. 
grips onto the uh, handles of the speeder bike pretty well. Yeah, this would be fantastic. Yeah, you know, obviously these days we have a lot better stuff, but um, yeah, this is cool. I'm actually gonna have to do a little bit of research to find out what that actually does under there. I wonder if it sort of locked in the uh, feet there so you can sort of stand that. I'm not sure. So yeah, that would have been cool if it just stood on the feet and was quite quite firm like that rather than sort of just falling in. Um, given that the feet don't actually reach. Oh, they kind of do if you do that. Yeah, not really. But that's cool. I dig it. I like it. I'm gonna have to. I know I've got a, my buddy's got the other two, the layer and the scout trooper. So I may even ask to borrow them so I can uh, do a couple of reviews uh, for future Power of the Force Fridays. Let's get another close up of Luke there. Dun, 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 dun. Hey there. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think. Yeah, we've done, we've had so many great speeder bikes over the years, you know. And it's uh it's one that, you know, doesn't really get old because it's, you know, just a fan favourite moment from Return of the Jedi. It's just awesome. It's just awesome, what's not to love? It's like a high speed bike chase in a forest. I love the sound they make too when they fly by. I reckon that's one of the coolest sounds in Star Wars. Always loved that as a kid. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Any other, um, you know, any other requests? Please drop them below. I'd love to, I'd love to share some more. And uh, even better if it's something someone want, wants to see. So yeah, let me know. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, we'll see you maybe next week, maybe another Friday for a Power of the Force Friday, so thanks for tuning in, and may the Force be with you, always.